I was looking for inspiration recently when a friend asked me if I knew anything about the secret tunnels at Elephant and Castle. Now initially I thought he was talking about the subways. There used to be a number of foot passages under the roundabout. The first ones appeared in 1915 and a whole new bunch were put in in 1959 as part of the redevelopment scheme that gave us the Elephant and Castle shopping centre and the various brutalist buildings in the area. However, people found the underpasses dirty and intimidating. Many preferred to simply take the risk of dashing across the road. The last of the underpasses was closed in 2016. But then I remembered another story, a more sinister one. One that makes for a more clickbaity title at any rate. The story goes that there's an abandoned mile-long tube tunnel that ran under the shopping centre. According to an anonymous anarchist pamphlet entitled London, the Other Underground, this was taken over by the government and added to a network of secret underground tunnels running beneath London during the Cold War. Another writer, Nigel Pennick, states that these were reinforced against nuclear attack and that the shopping centre was specifically built to cover it up. Now, I love a good urban legend and I love a good conspiracy theory, even if I tend to be rather sceptical about them. So let's dissect this and see if there's any truth to it. First of all, is there an abandoned tube tunnel or tunnels under Elephant and Castle? Well, there was an extension of the Bakerloo line to Camberwell authorised in 1931. This would have run down Walworth Road, which would have taken it right past the site of the shopping centre. The proposal would have required rebuilding of Elephant and Castle tube station with an extra platform, but construction never even began, despite the idea being revived several times over the years. What slightly confused the matter was a 1979 statement in the House of Commons by MP Ronald Brown claiming that a one and a half mile long tunnel had been built. However, just about every aspect of his statement was wrong, from the date of authorisation to the reasons for its abandonment, so I think it's safe to say that Mr Brown was not privy to secret information hidden from the rest of us. About that, at least. Ah, but there are abandoned tunnels down there. Or there were. Elephant and Castle, like many termini, has what are known as overrun tunnels. Basically, the tunnel continues for longer than the end of the platform. This has two purposes. Firstly, it means that trains can come into the station faster without the risk of running into a wall if anything goes wrong, which makes for a faster overall service. Coming into the station faster makes for a faster overall service, not running into a wall. And secondly, overrun tunnels can be used for storage. Elephant and Castle's overrun tunnels were rebuilt in 1940. The old ones were abandoned. However, according to TFL staff on District Dave's underground site, the tunnels have been filled in and are nowhere to be seen. Confusing matters further vis-a-vis -vis this story is the fact that according to TFL's property asset register map, the overrun tunnels now run directly under the site of the shopping centre. So I think we can safely say that there are no hidden underground tunnels down there. But I can see why someone might think there were. Alright, so what about the idea of a network of Cold War era government tunnels? Actually, yes, there was such a thing. Sort of. During the Second World War, a network of tunnels was built under Whitehall. It was known as Q Whitehall, or Post Office Scheme 2845. The full extent of this network has never been publicly revealed, although accounts by those who have seen it suggest that it connected to Trafalgar Square Tube Station, now the Bakerloo Line platforms at Charing Cross, the Cabinet War Rooms, the Whitehall Telephone Exchange, and the Admiralty Citadel, among other sites. There's no suggestion that it goes south of the river, although it should be noted that it would have a connection to the Elephant via the Bakerloo Line. The post office also had a deep, nuke-proof network of tunnels under London to be controlled from a site in Hoban. This site is under Chancery Lane tube station and was originally intended to be a deep-level underground station. I did a full video on this, link in the corner and, if I remember, in the description below. But again, as far as anyone knows, this tunnel network never got to Elephant and Castle. So we have some of the elements of the story. We can see where one might get the idea of secret tunnels under Elephant and Castle. 
and of a Cold War network of tunnels. None of these things are totally implausible in themselves. What about the bit about the shopping centre being used as a cover-up? Well, I see no particular reason to doubt the official explanation that the Elephant and Castle shopping centre was built as a shopping centre. I'm also not clear why you'd need to cover up something that, you know, is deep under the ground. But I should point out that the British harbour a deep suspicion of concrete buildings, dating back over a hundred years. During the First World War, soldiers on both sides became uncomfortably aware of the military possibilities of concrete fortifications. This led to a bizarre paranoia about any concrete structure in Britain, particularly if it was owned by anyone suspected of having a connection to Germany. The Daily Mail, that bastion of level-headed reporting, asked, Is it too much to ask that our kid-gloved government will ascertain how many German-owned factories have been built in this country, which incidentally command Woolwich, Dover, Rosyth? A timely inspection might reveal many concrete structures. The fact that post-war brutalism tended to favour basic shapes and a lack of decoration no doubt rekindled old memories. While I was weirdly fond of the old shopping centre, there's no denying that it was hardly aesthetically pleasing. However, now the centre has been fully demolished and the site is totally visible from the Thameslink station. So if it's meant to conceal a secret, it's doing a pretty rubbish job of it right now. So, in conclusion, it is almost certain that there are no secret tunnels under Elephant and Castle. No bunkers, no tube tunnels, no hidey holes under the shopping centre. Mind you, this could all be a disinformation programme. For all you know, I could be one of them. Oh no. But I'm not, though. Or am I? Well, I do hope you enjoyed this cloak and dagger tale from the tube. If you did, please do click the like button and subscribe for more in the near future. Thanks, as always, to my donors on Ko-fi and Patreon. You are the plausible alibi for my secret government project. And I'll see you all again very soon for another tale from the tube.